We loaded our trucks and cars and trailers and off we went. We never took the highway. Poppy said old roads were better to break down on, which we did. I knew we were going to break down, said my big sister Shorty, the fortune teller, rolling her eyes. Everybody say, I knew we were going to break down and roll your eyes. One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent. That's okay, said my mommy. We can have a snack and it gives me a chance to crochet a nice cloth for the picnic table. And it gives me a chance to rotate the tires after I fix the car, said Bobby cleverly. And I can fix my hair a bit, said Carmen the Beautiful. And I'll have time to finish reading this grim fairy tale, said Marta the Smart. I was just getting to the good part. And I'll be able to make some sandwiches to have before, during, and after we get to the lake, said Don Joe the Grocer. My Aunt Duda, the happily married, and her brand new husband, Juan, gazed into each other's eyes and said, Oh boy, this gives us a chance to spend some time together before we get to the lake to spend even more time together. <laughs> the wise old people didn't say anything, but looked around wisely, set up their table and chairs, and broke out the dominoes. Anybody who wasn't changing a tire looking for a carjack or crawling under their car got busy preparing a snack for anybody who was changing a tire looking for a carjack or crawling under their car. Anybody left over got a chance to do whatever they wanted to do. I got a chance to play tug of war with El Exigente. So I knew exactly where the road map was when my papi wanted to check it so we wouldn't get lost once we were on the road again. But we got lost anyway. I knew we were gonna get lost, said my big sister Shorty, the fortune teller, rolling her eyes. Everybody on the count of three, I knew we were gonna get lost and roll your eyes. One, two, three. I knew we were gonna get lost. Think of it as an adventure, said my mommy. Besides, it gives us a chance to visit other neighborhoods and practice our English when we ask for directions. One day, we actually got there. It's a miracle, said my big sister, Shorty the fortune teller. It's a miracle, everybody. One, two, three. It's a miracle! I couldn't wait to do all the things I'd been thinking of, like jumping in the enchanted lake and getting some enchanted sun and eating some enchanted lunch and taking an enchanted nap and building some enchanted sand castles. And that's when my big sister's eyes stopped rolling long enough to read the enchanted sign that said, No dogs allowed, enchanted or otherwise. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, she was hopping mad. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I gulped. My sister was right. Elixian, that did cause trouble. This was terrible. What were we going to do? Go home after breaking down and getting lost because Alexian was a dog? He couldn't help it. He was born that way. Besides, being a dog was what he did best. Why weren't dogs allowed at the lake anyway? I looked at mommy. My mommy and papi looked at each other. Everybody started talking at once in English and in Spanish. Then Poppy said, wait a minute, can you all be quiet so we can figure out what to do? We'll never figure out what to do, said my sister, rolling her eyes. Everybody? But everyone was too busy trying to figure out what to do to hear her. Then my Poppy yelled, Cállense! At the top of his voice, what do you think that means? Be quiet! Be quiet. Everybody here speaks Spanish. That's right. And then he thought for the longest moment of my life. Finally, he said cleverly, Look, these packages are heavy. We might as well put them on a nice picnic table until we can figure out what to do. And then my mommy got busy saying, It's hot. I might as well mix some coconut pineapple punch and set out the blankets in a nice shady spot until we figure out what to do. And Carmen the Beautiful said, I might as well put on my swimsuit in case Prince Charming shows up <laughs> until we figure out what to do. And then Marta the Smart said, 
I might as well go make some fairy tale sand castles and read War and Peace until we figure out what to do. And Don Joe the grocer said, we might as well eat those sandwiches I made until we figure out what to do. My Aunt Tuta, the happily married, and her brand new husband, Juan, decided to put their heads together and take a walk around the lake to try to figure out what to do. And the wise old people had already wisely sized up the situation and found the perfect tree to play dominoes under until somebody else figured out what to do. Then Papi the Clever said, we should take turns staying with El Exigente in the parking lot until we figure out what to do. So that day, in the parking lot of the Enchanted State Park, my dog had his fur done by Carmen.